Assalamu alaikum dear friends I am engineer Sepul and you are watching Sepul engineer at site youtube channel so friends to this is will be the third part of the series for the question and answer for technical interview of Sepul site engineer or KVQC engineer or KVQC inspector before starting the video please subscribe to our youtube channel like our video comment your suggestion and share it with your friends so let's start the video our first questions which mostly the interviewer asked from the seven engineers if he is a KVQC engineer or site engineer about the concrete cover. So today I will tell you about the concrete cover for different structural element in Aramco and also in the non-Aramco projects. So first the concrete structure which have a contact with soil like footing or retaining walls cover for such elements a structure elements concrete or as 50 mm or 5 cm in non Aramco projects and Aramco projects minimum at 70 mm or 7 cm for walls, footing, pedestals which have a contact with soil. The concrete cover is 5 cm in non Aramco and 7 cm in Aramco projects. And the, the, and the columns are beams. The concrete cover is general like 4 cm or 40 mm. And for the slab is 2.5 cm or 25 mm. This was the first question. The second question they asked, how you will check the steel at site? If you are a site engineer, if you are a QA QC engineer, a QA, or QC inspector or a consultant QC inspector, what you will check in the steel? First, when you went to the site and you take the shop drawings to inspect the steel, first you have to check the location of the columns. When you uh, went near to the columns, and the first thing you have to check is the concrete cover. That they uh, put the concrete cover, are they or not? One thing. The second thing you have to check all the columns steel bar dia. It's as per shop drawings or not. Third thing, you have to count all the main bar, tire bar, stairs, whatever bar used in this. You have to check all these. The third thing is, you have to check the spacing between the main bars and the center to center distance between tire bars. The third thing, you have to uh, confirm the location. How you, the, the confirmation of location for the steel is the duty of a surveyor, but you have to check the survey report or the, you have to check with the surveyor that the coordinates and the location of the column is at its correct place and everything outside should be same as it we have in the shop drawing so this will be the inspection of steel concrete cover number of bars main bars number of tie bar spacing between bars center to center distance between the tie bars location confirmation and you have to also check that the material the steel which use it said is approved is from the approved vendor and sometimes they ask a questions if you are working at site and you uh, uh, receive concrete and the slump is low so it's hard to cause and place at site so what you will do at that time as per quality requirement, you have to add admixtures or chemicals or plasticizer to this concrete to increase its slump. So it will be easy in the placement. If in case the slump value is higher, higher I will tell you like there are some tolerances like from the general is from 75 to 125 it's like 130 or 128 129 so at that time what you will do you the the general solution is you have to wait for a 10 to 15 minutes because the hydration process is in the speed speed in speed in the concrete so its value become down but if we is 135 or 140 you so you have to reject the concrete or you have to discuss it with the consultant and they both you will have to find the solution. The fourth question is about the formwork removal. What will be the duration to remove the formwork? In summer, it is 24 hours for columns and walls, like for vertical, 24 hours. And at winter, you have to wait till 28 hours. And for the slab and beams, it's uh, different for the different structure and depending on the span of the 
sleep and be able. but maximum and minimum like from 14 to 21 days we have to wait for the homework and shuttering of a slab so after during 14 to 21 days we can remove the homework and shuttering from the slabs the fifth question is that what will be the duration to use vibrator inside the concrete and what will be the distance like how you will put you will put throughout the concrete or there should be any specific distance so yes we have a specific distance and specific time of duration to put vibrator in the concrete and use it there so as per our project specification as per standard the vibrator will be used from 15 to 20 seconds at the spacing of 30 to 40 centimeter i will repeat the vibrator should be used from 15 to 20 seconds at the spacing of 40 30 to 40 centimeter like here you have to use 15 to 20 seconds then at this uh, space of 30 or 40 centi you have to use put the vibrator in the concrete to place the concrete well the sixth question which type of material will be used in the concrete cover or concrete cover blocks in aramco you can use only the pvc pipe for a concrete cover only PVC pipe. If you use other materials, it will be rejected. And only as per Aramco standard, you can use PVC pipes for a concrete cover in Aramco projects. For non Aramco projects, you can use concrete cover blocks, you can use plastic covers like that, whatever as per pro your project specification and consult an approval. But when you are going to use the concrete cover blocks, so you have to know the compressive strength of the concrete cover blocks. In our projects, the concrete cover blocks compressive strength should be same as we have for the concrete like C35 con class of concrete is using for structure elements so the concrete cover block should be same as C35. And the seventh question, what is the duration of concrete expiry when you receive the concrete? So it's already mentioned on the delivery note that you have to use the concrete and this duration of time if, if this time is completed and you didn't complete the concrete casting so you have the concrete will be counted as expired in our project and as our project specification the maximum time to use the concrete after batching mixing and uh, reaching to the site is 90 minutes 1.5 hours in 90 minutes you have to use the concrete which you receive at site but generally the concrete expiry time is from 1.5 to 2 hours in this time of duration you can use the concrete itside if the time is going more than 2 hours so it will be count as expired and you have to stop that concrete that's all so guys if you have any relevant question regarding these points so you can ask in the comment section and i will try to answer the question there thank you so much for watching our video subscribe our youtube channel like our video and share it with your friend thank you so much